G'day everyone, how you doing? And today we're going to be talking about the uh, latest design of my Celestron Rasa masks. Now one of the challenges we're shooting with the uh, Celestron Rasas are the uh, cable management side of things and if you get your cable management a little bit wrong then you're going to have some pretty weird diffraction sort of spikes in your stars and they may not look that appealing. Um, not too bad on very dim stars but on brighter stars that's where you start to see um, yeah, the troubles uh, starting to creep in. So what I did was designed uh, this mask here. Um, this is the first version and as you can see the cables can lock in um, between um, and it, it sat on the Rasa um, fairly well, fairly nicely. Um, did the trick and it created a nice um, four spike uh, diffraction um, uh, on the on the bright stars which looked really nice so you had that sort of Newtonian type feel with f2 optics um, so that was the whole whole idea with that and uh, and yeah it worked um, it worked I thought really well then um, over time uh, things evolved and I ended up shooting um, with a, a QHY camera now the QHY is a, a lot larger um, it's a lot larger body on it so therefore this style here didn't really work um, as you can see here this uh, this inner ring um, which basically sat over the top of a ZWO um, camera not a problem at all and you can probably see that in some of my other um, uh, videos that I've put out to do with the design of my um, 3d printed racer masks so um, and, not, and not just the ZWO, I had a few people contact me in regards to will a filter um, holder uh, work with it. And uh, to be honest with you, I still really don't know because I don't have a filter holder um, for my, my uh, twin rasses, um, which are, are just over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I still really can't quite answer that, but I'm hoping that um, those that have printed their own uh, 3D um, uh, Rasa masks or um, have uh, purchased one from me and uh, and do have a, a filter holder I'd love to know because I'm always developing and always changing um, these masks now moving on to the the next version so this is another version that I don't think too many people have quite really seen um, if you're a, uh, a member of my uh, YouTube channel um, there's a, a a rank there where you can actually download your own um, file to print your own 3D printed uh, Rasamas if you have a, a 3D printer. So uh, just quickly on that, thank you everyone for your support in um, in choosing to print your own uh, 3D Rasa uh, mask. That's been uh, very helpful um, in terms of uh, being able to um, continually develop when I have time because I don't really have a lot of time. Anyway, so as we can see here, I've eliminated the, uh, um, the center ring. And what this enables now is to accommodate the larger QHY cameras. Um, and I will show you in a bit just how this here um, sort of system here locks onto the, uh, the RASA. Um, as you can see, it's printed in white because it was a bit of a, a prototype and it did have a thinner um, uh, cable holder section but what I've found here using a thinner one over a, a wider one is that the cables are, are, are too thick anyway and it to me it didn't really uh, I didn't really notice too much difference but um, yeah so that's a, a I think I, I label this as a thin version um, and there's a thick version which is a, a slightly thicker um, uh, cable section now not only just that, so this is kind of like also the evolution of um, how my twin rasses have been uh, set up over the time. Uh, Celestron brought out the uh, dew heater ring. Now I've jumped on that, um, absolutely uh, love it. In fact, it actually hasn't even turned on yet and had been used here in, um, in Australia at the moment. We are coming up to the colder months, so uh, I'm pretty sure that will uh, happen pretty soon. Um, so that needed a, a design change again, purely because of the uh, the way the cables are and the dew heater ring down the bottom, um, and the uh, the thermostat side of things and all the uh, uh, rest of the uh, the electronics. 
Um, you couldn't fit this style of uh, this style of um, mask into the Rasa um, purely because of that. All the cables and that will get in in the way. And my designs are, are set up so they lock in um, to your little pins. So the cap that goes onto the front of a um, on the front of your Rasa how it sort of just locks into place. Well, these do a very similar thing. They, they go into the actual rasser itself and they lock in place. So that way they're not moving, um, you know, and terribly much and stuff like that throughout the uh, an imaging session. And um, I think it's just better when they just lock in. If they're not, and they're just sitting on the, the rim of the telescope, then you've got the chance of them sort of com coming off, falling off. So, um, yeah. and. This is the uh, the prototype version I've been using on my uh, Rasses through some of my videos. Um, I don't know if these guys have sort of seen them, but to give you an idea, again, I've gone back to the thicker, um, wider uh, mask spokes with a um, uh, an opening in the center, so it fits over the top of the Rasser, I mean, over the top of the QHY style cameras. Um, and, and the reason for this too is that I didn't want to keep having to take my cameras on and off just to you know, put a mask on. But uh, not only that, you'll notice it's a lot uh, wider and thicker here compared to this. And what I find here is that this here actually sits um, into the scope a lot better. Um, whereas this one here, when it's, it sat on um, the telescope here, it would swivel a little, little bit because it didn't really have anything on the side here to sort of put, um, lean up against the actual uh, um, ring on the inside of the telescope. So not the optics, just the ring guys whereas this one here it's a lot thicker it doesn't doesn't really move move much at all but as you can see here on the bottom here there is a um, section that's been taken out and that's purely for the uh, dew heater ring and also a couple of little notches um, here as well so that way the cables from the dew heater um, ring can also come out and this can sit into the actual telescope so uh, this is the uh, the latest um, design. Now, how this one here would actually go with a uh, without the dew heater ring, um, slash from dew ring, I'm not too sure. I might be a little bit um, it might be a little bit too much of a gap here, so it might start to to swing a little bit. Um, that's why there is a, another version, um, obviously without the um, the graping big uh, big gap. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, put it on the uh, on the raster so you, you guys can see exactly how it uh, how it works. Well, guys, here it is, my main uh, celestial raster eight, and the reason it's my main celestial raster eight is purely because the uh, uh, the computer's on top. Now I've got my QHY two nine four color uh, camera on the front, and as you can see, it's a lot uh, larger um, body on it compared to a ZWO, um, which is why this uh, this mask here is also uh, been developed as well as I've got the um, Celestron dew heater ring. So I've got my cables just down the bottom here tucked away um, Clipped away onto the actual um, dew heater ring itself So if you're going to have those uh, warmer nights where you don't need the um, to use your, your Dew heater rings and you want to just tuck away the cables um, For better cable management you can do so and still use uh, this ring here So here we go. We just pop it straight over the top like so and then lock it into place um, the uh, the cables down the bottom for the celestial and dew heater ring don't get in the way um, at all and there's no back and forth oh, it's a little bit not much um, back and forth mo uh, movement there uh, and uh, yeah it sits uh, really well in place and this ring here can be used with your ZWO cameras um, because it pretty much comes up to the retaining ring itself so it doesn't have um, a little ring here uh, like the uh, older version did that sat on top of your retaining ring um, this one here just goes up to the retaining ring and it sits fairly flush with the um, uh, the beginning of your uh, your Rasa um, scope there as well now the retaining ring you can still get to it um, if you need to loosen it to adjust your uh, uh, camera rotation so here we have one of my uh, USB cables for the camera and I'm just going to show you uh, exactly how it holds the, uh, the cable in place. So 
here we go. Now one of the disadvantages of the, the QHY camera is that you actually got to get the cable just in between the body and the first um, little cable holder section uh, there for it to lock into place a bit better. But there you go. Pretty much, it's a bit long. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> it's um, pretty much just locks into place like so, and then you can run your cable along the side, up the top, down the bottom, however you, you want to do it. And you've got to, some uh, nice, neat um, cable management there. So the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, ability to use this mask with the dew heater rings. Um, if you've got a Celestron dew heater ring with your uh, Rasa 8 telescope. Um, as we can see here, the uh, the cables are, are already out. Um, so all we're going to do is just lock it back into place, bring the cables through those little notches, and there we go. So you can still use your your dew heater ring with the uh, diff diffraction mask. Um, generally, I only use uh, one. Um, cable for the Juhita ring and that's purely um, uh, for the heating aspect side of things. I don't use the second one here for the, uh, the thermostat because I don't run a, uh, a Celestron um, Juhita computer. It all goes through my Eagle uh, computer system. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, in regards to my latest development of my 3D printed Rasa masks. If you want to uh, print your own um, Rasa mask, you certainly can via my uh, membership um, section there. It's just a small donation towards my um, my development and my work of uh, creating these 3D printed masks. And uh, it will continue um, to go towards the uh, development of future um, 3D printed uh, items for the Rasa 8 telescope to make our lives just that little bit easier. Um, if you've already got yourself a, uh, a 3D printed um, Rasa mask and you printed it yourself, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your images of your 3D printed mask um, on your Rasa. Uh, so if you could uh, send them through to me, that would be absolutely excellent. I would love to, love to see them. Um, and yeah, so uh, yeah, if you're also after a, uh, a 3D printed uh, Rasa mask, just reach out to me um, via my website and I can uh, hook you up. All right, guys. So that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you.